Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another behind the scenes video. I filmed this photo shoot with beautiful model Grace while I was in London traveling for my photography workshop. So the first location I chose was this spot filled with thistles. I saw it from far away and I knew that I had to shoot there. The problem was that it's a bit tricky as thistles are very prickly. So I made sure that Grace is totally okay in posing in this area and we took our time positioning her within the thistles, making sure that they're not prickling her anywhere. Make sure that your model is comfortable at all times. That's the tip number one. When I imagined this shot, I really wanted some of that golden light shining through all of the fluff and making it glow. But sadly, when we started setting up, the sun went away behind the trees. So for a second, I thought that I'm not going to get this perfect shot. But then we realized that if we go just a little bit higher up the hill, we still might get some of that light. And thankfully, we did. So here I really wanted to get a lot of the sunlight spilling into the lens, giving me some of the lens flares, making the image really, really warm. So I was playing around with positioning the sun uh, behind the model, kind of making it peek through her shoulders just a little bit and seeing how much of that flare I actually want. A lot of you guys wanted to see the unedited images so I decided why not show you a little bit of my editing process. So here's the before image, here's after doing the skin retouch, then I do some dodge and burn and then finally some color grading and here's the final before and after. I'm going on the grid texting back, I want you. Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way to strong Cannot keep it low key while we were taking thumbnail pictures, I snapped a close-up portrait of Grey's that I didn't plan out at all, but ended up really liking it The second spot was in this more woodsy part of the park with a lot of tall trees but I found a spot where the light was shining through the tree branches really nicely. The light was already really low so it was very orange which contrasted nicely with the greenery around the model and complemented her red hair. I asked Grace to take off her shoes as I was gonna take a full body shot. I usually prefer shooting models bare feet as I find that it looks a lot more natural and really feminine. It was a little bit dark in this spot but I didn't mind the moodiness of these shots in the end. A pose that I love to do is asking the model to pull the dress up to her knees. Not only it is more interesting than just standing straight but also it's preventing the dress from cutting the model's legs at the weird angle. We are revealing the leg, elongating the body and making the model look a lot taller. Standing a little bit on the tippy toes helps as well. 
For the next shot, I moved Grace a little bit to the left, where I wasn't seeing that big tree trunk in the background. She is still very nicely backlit by this beautiful orange sunlight. I did another one of my classic poses, where I asked her to drop the straps off of their dress and turn her with her back towards me a little bit more. Again, a very classic, very feminine pose. <laughs> But you're off my radar now I've lost you I've lost you I keep on looking for you mm -mm. Here is another before and after and the same process Here's the skin edit, dodge and burn and the color correction I was looking for more spots where the sun was peeking through the trees and I liked this particular spot because the tree branches were a lot lower so I can use them to frame the model really nicely. I also picked up a leaf and got the model to pose with it to make a little bit more of an interesting portrait. Next location was my absolute favorite from the whole photo shoot. It just looked so, so magical. So before I had Grace step into all this greenery, I made sure that it was safe by checking it out myself, making sure that there's no pricklies or snakes. Who knows what's in those bushes. We tried a few different poses and tried sitting down, but my favorite one was when Grace turned around and showcased how low the back of the dress is. When I look back on us It's starting to sink in Don't want it to be misunderstood Rolling in the deep Don't want to break this Our last spot was by these tall pink flowers I thought that they're gonna look really cool in the pictures Plus it was getting really dark in the woodsy area So I needed to get out into a more open one where there's less trees and this was perfect I was getting a lot more light in this spot these tall flowers are also great to create some depth in the image because I don't have any more of that nice sunset that separates the model from the background I'm gonna be using the flowers to create that 3d look so some of them are in front of the camera some of them are around the model and some of them are behind her uh, the ones closer to the camera are going to be more blurry same with the ones further from the camera and again it's going to create that nice 3d effect so you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off that's what i told you soon enough everything started to change because there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own life no living in the past I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights Nothing could stop us 
sunsets Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream and here is the final retouch process, the skin retouch, color grading and some dodge and burn. So this is it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our beautiful model Grace and Alex who filmed some beautiful cinematic footage for this video. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye!